couple amazing parties that I just had to go to and <laughs> I knew that I wasn't gonna be able to drive home so <laughs> Honestly, I was like, man, you know, if I could just park at the place, then that would just be so much more convenient. And when I started looking at Craigslist um, for how much RVs were, they were so reasonably priced that I was like, wow, this is actually something that I could do. So that was where that was where it all started, really. <laughs> nice, nice. Um, what would you say is your best experience that you'd like to share? Oh my gosh. It's Probably the the people that I've met um, when you just touch and go with so many different people and you just find the, like the heart of America. <laughs> it's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah, We're just starting to experience that ourselves. Yeah, Absolutely. people are so willing to share. You know, and a, and a parking space for a gypsy is like gold. So. Um, <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> so many people. I'm here in Santa Cruz visiting my best friend Simo that I met because his friend had an RV, a dolphin as well. Nice. And so we became you know really good friends from that. And so I've met, you know, my new best friend over a year now, um, cool. and that's wonderful. And then seasonal work, I just finished working this fall and um, being able to take my RV to the site and just work on location every day for, um, you know, a couple months. How hard has it been finding work on the road? Yeah, I haven't had trouble. I haven't had trouble at all. So seasonal work. Yep, mostly Good. farm work or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've been looking for trimming work myself, but it's a little late now. Late, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it's over. <laughs> but, right. but it was abundant. We did our harvest. It was it went quite well. Ah, very mm -hmm. nice. Um, are there any bad experiences that you'd like to share? Bad experiences, okay. <laughs> right? I mean, you always need to be flexible. That's why, you know, I say having like, a, you know, always some good help around or a little bit saved. So when you get into jams, you know, you're able to get yourself out easier. So I was on to going to my favorite festival, Lightning in a Bottle, and it was the Dollhouse's debut. This is what I call the RV is the Dollhouse because it's a two at a dolphin. So I call it the Dollhouse for short. Mm -hmm. And um, going to my favorite festival, I have a couple friends. We're all loaded up in here, and the the head gasket blows. And well, yeah, but luckily I had AAA, and I was able to be towed into the festival, and then well, actually to the ticket site, then to the festival, and then home. I got three free tows, and so all oh, for all nice. for free. I was able to at least get into the party, do our thing, and then, and then get home. <laughs> and then get home. I didn't have to drive home. So, so that you was know. a good experience after <laughs> yeah. all. Yeah. And then my... how you look at it. It can start bad, but then you can turn it into something good. Yeah. I mean, we had um, one of our experiences at a festival where we lost the oil pan. Mm -hmm. Remember that? Oh, On the boy. way into the festival, but we stayed in the fest. We ended up staying in the festival for the rest of the weekend for free, along with all of our friends being comped in for free who were going to fix it. <laughs> so it all worked out. Yeah, right? I found a great mobile mechanic and he fixed it for a reasonable rate and then I was I was back. So those low moments are low, but even when you have like car trouble and you have to pull over on the side of the road, you just jump in the back and then you're home. <laughs> you know, it's yep. just like, all right, I can do, I have it, I got my Wi-Fi, you know, I got whatever things I need if I need to eat while I'm waiting, take a nap, you know. And, right. And yeah, so it's, it's so great. Now, what would you say is your favorite part of living in an RV? Oh my gosh. Um, definitely being able to move around and have your front yard be like amazing views mm -hmm. like this. Oh, exactly. <laughs> it's the well, ultimate freedom. To be. Yeah, and it's the, it is. It's the ultimate freedom. Um, people tell me all the time, you know, you just live so free and yeah, if something doesn't feel right somewhere, you know, I can, I just go somewhere else and tell it until it feels right. And, um, yeah, there's been so many places that I probably would never have seen before or had a, oh, yeah, a chance yeah. to had an extended stay there, you know, not mm. just to travel and visit, but to stay there, mm -hmm. you know, hear the word on the street because, you know, when you're parking on the street, you hear, you hear everything. Right. Yeah. Kind of be, living in an RV, you're kind of beyond tourists. You're kind of more when you get to a place you kind of fit in with the locals more than you do if you're just living like a tourist yeah, yeah. Oh, exactly I feel, I feel like you're way more integrated into it mm -hmm. exactly um, would you recommend this to others <laughs> right and it for everybody it's not for it's not for everybody I would say you know like I would recommend it um, to a lot of people 
So, but um, yeah, some girls might find it a little bit more challenging, um, but I have known many girls that um, just have seized the opportunity and flourished well with their, you know, their little businesses that they do in the back, you know, my uh -huh. girl selling her vintage out of RV and so, but it does take a special person, <laughs> you know, you have yeah. to be, oh, yeah. you have to be semi outgoing and, and flexible. And, yeah, that's the big know, thing, flexibility. Flexibility, yeah, you go with the flow, you know, have a good driving record because you're, you're driving around a lot, you know, right. so you mm -hmm. want to make sure that you're, you know, a safe, good driver. And, um, yeah, I think it's, I think it's the new American dream. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I agree. Um, do you have any safety concerns traveling alone? And that's true because I am by myself most of the time. Um, but I, no, I haven't really encountered any unsafe situations. Yeah, really. that's what I've heard too. Really? I mean, a lot of people I mean, are like are assuming that it's a lot scarier than it really is. Yeah, yeah. You kind of got to trust like, your gut instinct. If an area don't look right to be in, it's probably not a good area to be in and just go to the next area. Yeah, exactly. I'm always making sure where I park, you know, I feel I feel good about it, you know. But, you really got to trust your gut. Mm-hmm, yeah. <clears throat> but most people are giving me thumbs up and waves and, are, you know, are being helpful. So, um, yeah, yeah, you got to trust your gut. Awesome. Mm -hmm. um, now, cooking. Would you say you have limitations? I cook a lot. I cook a lot because I don't go out to eat hardly ever. Mm. So, um, I do, I save a lot of money there. Um, and I have a good size fridge, especially just for me. So it's kind of, you know, a larger mini one. Mm. Um, and the oven works, but I don't use the oven. So that's a slight limitation, but I know there's many RVs out there that you can, mm. that you can use the oven and, um, I need to try it again. I just tried one thing yeah, one time nearly, and I didn't like it's it. It's not so. nearly as limiting as you would think. I mean, for right now yeah. we just have the Coleman and I'm cooking away. I don't, I think it's great. I'm just like, okay, this is nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I used to have a microwave, but I heard they're bad. So, I, mm -hmm. you know, and I was toting around a microwave forever and I could only use it when I was plugged in. I've got so, cancer. We don't want a microwave. <laughs> you're not trying to do the microwave thing. I yeah. don't know if it causes cancer, but it doesn't seem it too doesn't sound like it. Wonder. Yeah. 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 <laughs> if there's a question, I've eliminated it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so four burner stove is plenty. Now, some other questions that people might have or might be thinking of, um, like food storage. Like, I mean, you've got a refrigerator, so that I'm sure works well. We're not at that point where we have a refrigerator just yet, but we're still fairly new. Um, uh, but other, like, food storage and stuff, I mean... Yeah, I find enough places. I know actually food is taking over more and more slowly in <laughs> my <laughs> cupboards, but you know, because there's you room. There's nice, you got nice cupboard space in here, so I'm sure that works yeah, out well. Yeah, so three up there, three on this side. That one's a decent one. Um, yeah, I managed to fit plenty. Under the <laughs> like, bed over here? Uh, oh, oh, yeah, I have a little cooler oh, step no. stool that, you know, it's always good to have. <laughs> Oh yeah, we have to give you the whole the whole view of, of what's going on here. All that storage so space. <laughs> yeah, see my cooler for my step stool is a little extra storage there. You know, mm -hmm. it's good to have all kind of use. And of course, my next question: clothing storage. <laughs> now, sometimes as girls, we need a little bit more than that. So right. than the average guy per se. <laughs> exactly. So there is a lovely um, closet behind my um, toilet here in the bathroom, and there's a shower. But the shower, the shower, the shower we turn in, we turn into another closet. So you know, if you're a guy and you want the shower, see, I have some nice little shower curtain there. But there's lovely clothes. <laughs> oh, lovely clothes going on back there. Okay, and I see the bathroom, something we don't have lucky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Although you can lovely. survive without a bathroom. We do have a honey pot, works very well. Mm -hmm. Oh, see? Exactly. You just keep it simple. Clorox just, keeps it clean. It's just like <laughs> camping. Mm -hmm. um, with the bathroom, <clears throat> the and tanks, is that like an issue or I don't know right. anything about it yet? I know. That's, that's where I'm like, where the girls owning RVs by themselves, that's where I'm like, I don't know how many girls could really get down with that. But I don't know, girls do dirty jobs, so mm. whatever, you know. What you they, wipe, right? they wipe their child's bum. Anyways, yeah. Have you done so, it? Um, and you empty your own, your Oh, I tanks? did it yesterday. I did it yesterday, like every, every about two to three weeks. Um, maybe more like three weeks I could almost get away with it before my take, water runs out. And then, it yeah, doesn't take anything time. special, it just takes doing it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it sucks, uh, nobody uh, wants to. Pulling a 
a couple of levers, you know, <laughs> breathing through your mouth. It you sucks. Nobody like... wants to, but it's got to get done. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. You just got to suck it up and do it. Yeah. yeah. And in San Diego, it's free. There's a great spot right by SeaWorld that's glorious. Um, um, but I guess you guys don't worry about that. But um, that place is freer than other places. You know, there's a lot of them around that are like $10 or less. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nice. Well, and finally, um, any suggestions or recommendations for others? Oh, let's see. Uh, it is a relationship when you, <laughs> that you get into. So, yeah, you have to make sure that you nurture, nurture the relationship, and um, you know, be patient, kind, and flexible wherever you go. I usually try to leave it a little bit better. You know where mm -hmm. I, when where I when I left it. Exactly. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, and then people don't get too jealous or pissed off that you're there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're there. Um, and keep it moving too. You know, like I I usually at least move like two times a day. You know, place in the night and place in the day, and then just switch it up. You know. So, exactly. Don't don't look like a vagrant. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Keep your outside nice. Appearance is a big thing with it. keep your outside of your rig. I found keep my outside of my rig clean, keep the area around my rig clean. If I get to an area and there's a bunch of trash around, I'll pick it up and throw it in the trash. It's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. And people see it and they, they look at you less less judgmental. And I haven't had too many judgmental people, really. Mm -hmm. Most everybody that's been checking out the bus is like, wow, do it. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we are, I think we're we're doing something that a lot of people wish they could mm -hmm. and it's just a matter of doing it mm -hmm. exactly yeah. if exactly. we wait till if we wait until we can afford to do it or if me and karen waited until we could afford to do it we'd we never, never do it. it we would have never done it and <clears throat> and just get out there and do it too i mean yeah. i know for me personally i am not an out of the box person at all he is but i am drawn to people like him because they bring me out mm -hmm. i know what i need and this experience, I would have never done this. I'm so glad we're, we're doing it. But yeah. And this, and so that's where it's like you're not an out-of-the-box person, but if you can take your home wherever you're going out of that box, mm -hmm. then it makes being out of that box, like, a little less scary. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. exactly. yeah, so it's... I'm going to pan around and check out the rest of your rig real quick. Yeah, yeah. yeah Maybe and we let should me get step out of the way so you can do that. Nope, um, you're make fine sure, right there. I was going to say, make um, sure you get the detail. You got a full, a full burner stove with an oven, mm -hmm. and you said you haven't used the oven. No, just one time, the cornbread, you you, know. you, you got <laughs> You got your sink. <laughs> yeah, two sinks, two sides. And how many gallons of potable water can you store? That's a good question. I do not know. Three days, four days? Oh, no. Like, um, I, it's like three weeks. Yep, probably so you get almost... A little over two weeks. Probably more like, yeah. More over a half three. a month storage on your water. Mine, you can serve a lot of water. It's amazing. I feel, I feel good about that, too. Though. And you just fixed your water pump, so... Place my water pump, the girl can do it. Yep, and you got all these fancy wine yeah, bottle cups on your overhead. It's this beautiful detail. That is beautiful. Okay, I love that. I'm not. Yeah, it's beautiful. A bit storage above your refrigerator. And your refrigerator. That's plenty big for one person. Probably big enough for two people just fine. Mm -hmm. You get oh, yeah. your, your table and mm -hmm. right, this, which this folds into a this bed. couch folds into it's a really bed. It's really neat too how the back part it just kind of like rolls over and then and then you can still scooch by here. Right. And then this one will fold into a bed. And again, this is a uh, 86. 87. 87. Toyota Dolphin. Toyota Dolphin, and you can't see up there, but that's where you drive from. That's true. Yeah, you can think of those. I'm gonna go so check out the out, rest of the outside of the rig now. Yeah. And it's an 86 Toyota with a 22RE engine with an automatic transmission. Gets about 14 miles to the gallon. Not very good gas mileage for a, a Toyota pickup, but excellent gas mileage for a house. And I think that's just about it. And I wanted to... I wanted to thank our new friend for an interview with her in our rig. And Thank you so much for visiting. <laughs> we'll talk to you all soon.